Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Today is September the 4th of 2020. And, um, okay, so something just come to my attention, a community post uh, from Change is Coming. And normally what I do when I see something that I am led to share, I will just share it. Uh, like if it's from their community post, I'll just share it from community post to my community post. But this is actually so important that I'm actually going to read it I'm going to put a link to Changes Cummings channel, go to her community post, and uh, make any comments or what you need to say there because this is her post. And I'm going to uh, not allow comments on this particular video because uh, this is her content. And I want you to direct any questions or concerns or just comments on her channel. Okay, it's called... It's her channel's change is coming, but let me read this to you now. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm going to read to you. Someone had shared with her um, a dream that they had. Okay, I'm going to just I'm going to share with you the dream, and then you can go and ask any questions that you have over there on the channel. Okay, <clears throat> this dream was uh, shared with her by Samuel Alvis. It says, I had a dream that scared the life out of me. I am a Kenyan woman married to a Nicaraguan man. And at the time I had this dream, I was on a fast and praying that the Lord shows me the truth. Then I had this dream that me and our daughter were taken by these beings and standing in a long line that led into a factory looking place. It looked like we were there to be processed. And I didn't know what was going on until it was my turn. As I walked into the factory doors, I saw bodies hanging on ropes and others going out the other door crying and shaking and thanking to be alive. So it came me and my daughter's turn and they asked her first. In my dream at the time, she was five years old. So the man asked her, what side are you on? And she answered and said, if your side is God's side and Christ came for our salvation, then that is the side I am on. So the guy put the noose around her neck and turned to me and asked me, what about you? I was so scared, you guys. I could hear my teeth clacking and my knees shook so hard I could barely breathe because my body was shaking and sweating profusely. I answered and said, I am on the side she is on. I am with God. So he put the noose around my neck and before we knew it, the floor collapsed. We instantaneously were in the clouds, both me and her, my five-year-old daughter. Christ was there and he reached out his hands to us and said, let's go home. Our father is pleased with you both. I was like, wait, did I die? I didn't feel anything. Is it that easy? I exclaimed. I then asked Christ to allow me to go and tell my sister and brother whom I spotted standing in the line still as I look down from the clouds, that is so easy to believe and be saved. Oh, she, okay. Um, she, okay, she said, let me go back and read that sentence again. I, I, I'm sorry. I then asked Christ to allow me to go and tell my sister and brother whom I spotted standing in the line still as I look down from the clouds that it's so easy to believe and be saved and the transformation was not painful, so do not fear. They looked so terrified, I couldn't explain the look that they had. So Christ said to me, if the faith of this five-year-old child can save her, then their faith can save them. And off we went into heaven. I woke up and I promise you my bed was wet from sweat. I had literally sweated profusely onto my sheets because the dream terrified me to the core. I prayed and thanked God that I was counted worthy to enter the gates of heaven. Praise be to God and let all glory abound to him. Thank you, Christ, for dying for our sins and bringing us back to our Father. Okay, the reason why I shared this uh, dream that someone had with you is because, you know, like change is coming said, like Shauna said, <clears throat> we really don't know when the rapture is going to happen, uh, you know, and exactly the time frame of everything, right? So this is, I, I, I said this to you to encourage you, if, if you get left behind or you have to come to experience this, know that there will be no pain involved whatsoever. And I'm also going to put a testimony of Ken Peters in the description box below, along with the link to 
Changes Cummings Channel. Ken Peters had a dream of the tribulation. Now, uh, his stuff, what happened first for, with, in his dream was that there was a loud, like a noise, this big earthquake happened, and uh, the dead in Christ rose, and um, this, old, he, this old man came along and brought him to Christ. The old man was left behind, he said, because he wasn't ready. He hadn't, he, he wasn't, you know, completely right with God. So, you know, I want you to watch the Ken Peters testimony because in it, he talks about him and his wife uh, being beheaded and there was zero pain right as the blade went to touch, just, just barely touched to skin. He was instantly taken, instantaneously taken out of his body and he was with Christ. So that's confirmation as well. So um, I don't want to keep going on about it, but I'm going to put the links to Changes Cummings channel and go to community. Go to the community post. Scroll over at the very top of her channel. Go over to where it says community, and that was her last post. And then you can also go to the Ken Peters testimony and listen to that as well. And uh, God bless you. I hope you have a tremendously beautiful day in Christ. All right. So listen, we don't know when this is going to happen. We don't know when the rapture is going to happen. We don't know. So you need to be, be prepared. You need to be, be prepared because five seconds from now could actually be your last breath and you won't even make it to the rapture. Okay. So Jesus Christ is your blessed hope, not the rapture at all. Which you know what? As a matter of fact, this dream that this woman had proves that, that um, the rapture is not your blessed hope. It's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is your blessed hope. I hope I didn't just say that wrong just a minute ago. Um, but Jesus Christ is your blessed hope, not the rapture, okay? So, as you see, Jesus Christ instantaneously took these people out of their body right before death could even sting them, okay? So, God bless you all. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye.